In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate percentage in Google Sheets. I'm going to show you a few different ways to do it. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to format as a percent, and then I'm going to show you how to calculate the percentage of a total. And then um, last, I will show you how to calculate the percent change in Google Sheets. So the first thing, um, very basic thing we need to go over is just how to format as a percent. So all you really need to do is highlight um, the cells or the row or the column that you want to format as a percent. So I'll just click the very top of this A to highlight this entire column. And then they have this format as percent tool here. Um, so that'll just format everything as a percentage. You could also do it in the format menu, but this is a much easier option. Um, so next I'll show you how to actually calculate percentage. Um, what we'll do in this example is I'll show you how to calculate the percentage of a total. So in this example, I have um, different t-shirt colors and their sales revenue. And I want to know what percentage each color is doing of the total sales revenue. So the formula to do this, like the math formula, would be um, sales revenue of each t-shirt color divided by the total revenue times 100. Um, the times 100 part we don't really have to do because the uh, format as percent option that we covered earlier will actually do that for us. So the first thing we need to do is get the total revenue because I don't have that in here right now. So I'm just gonna go into this cell and do a formula to sum these up to get the total. So equals sum, I'm gonna hit tab, enter. So this is the total. And so now what I need to do is I need to divide each of these by the total. So over here where I want to do my calculation, I'm going to go equals this cell divided by the total. And then here you want to put the absolute cell reference by hitting F4 because I want um, this to stay locked on this value. I don't want that to change. So that's these little dollar signs you see here. Um, and then autofill is going to work and um, then a calculated percentage. Um, it might not already be formatted as a percentage. You might have to do that. Um, so if it's not showing as a percentage, just hit this format as a percent here. It looks like mine was already set up like that. Um, so now you can see here um, the percentage of the total that each of these uh, t-shirt colors is representing. And then you'll know you did it right if um, everything totals up to be 100%. So that is calculating um, the percentage of a total in Google Sheets. Next, I'm going to show you how to calculate the percent change in Google Sheets. So um, we'll continue with this example, um, kind of similar to the last one. We have t-shirt colors and we have a revenue here, but now I have two months. I have month one revenue and I have month two revenue. And what I want to do now is calculate the percentage increase or decrease from month one to month two. So the math formula to do that would be month two sales revenue. Uh, looks like I typed that wrong. Let me just fix that. So it would be month two sales revenue minus month one sales revenue um, divided by month one sales revenue times 100. So how I do that in Google Sheets is, um, I'll just enter the formula here, equals this minus this. Um, this is important, you have to do your parentheses here because we, we want to do the correct order of operations. And then um, divide it by month uh, one and then enter. And so my cells were already formatted as a percent. Again, if yours aren't, um, hit the format as percent option. And then I copy and paste this formula down. And now I can see um, from month one to month two, was there an increase or was there a decrease? And what was the percentage increase or decrease? Um, so those are a couple of basic ways to calculate percents in Google Sheets. Um, it's very useful for analyzing data and making data-driven decisions. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button.
If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.